So a clean uh, F90 M5, Clear, appears to be a uh, Merino blue. Always love these cars. I actually considered getting this instead of the G80, but we're gonna have to talk about it in a separate video as to why I didn't. Here you can also see it's a nice clean F80 M3 in Yaz Merino blue. Got a nice 992 GT3 pulling in in white. Beautiful car. Wow, that's incredible. You can see across the street, we got a few M's. Right here is a frozen Silverstone E92 M3, which is really nice as well. It's got the competition wheels, carbon roof. It's like an Aventador S. Beautiful car. Big boys right here. Appears to be a 765 LT. Um, that is gorgeous. Wow, an SF90. Wow. The car is pulling in on today's drive. We've got M's, we've got AMG's, we even have some Corvettes, but we also have the exotics, McLaren's, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsche, anything you can think of is gonna be on today's drive. So we have about an hour's drive into the straight canyons, which is gonna be sick. Uh, so it'll be nice to get some cool epic shots. It'll be my first time taking the uh, G82 M4 up to the canyons as well, so I'm excited. You can see here goes Kevin's M4 GTS parked up. Always nice to see this car. It's always got that microfiber on the seat, always. Sit play steering wheel. It's also got the fiber spoiler on its highest setting today. Very nice. A couple of Venadors, one of them like a frozen gray, uh, gloss black. Check out this 488 piece as well. The interior on this gets even better. Full suede Alcantara, red interior, carbon steering wheel, carbon door panel, everything is carbon on this thing. Beautiful car, gold wheels as well. One of my favorite spec pieces, honestly, that I've ever seen. See the engine bay in there. V8 twin turbo, a Vendor. I think it's the ultimate. Very nice spec. It's got carbon pieces that are frozen as well. We also have a yellow McLaren Artura. I actually haven't really seen, I think I've seen one of these. Uh, you don't often see these. It's still pretty much a brand new McLaren, uh, the latest McLaren production car. Yeah, that's nice. And then right here is my M4. Parked up, looking good. We got it cleaned up for today's drive. Yeah, I wish I put some tire shine on it. The tire's a little dry. But nevertheless, this will be the first time taking this car into the canyons, doing a proper drive, uh, testing its paces as a stock car. And soon we're gonna be modifying this. We'll be talking about that uh, in an upcoming video. This thing just looks amazing. I'm so happy with this car so far. You can kind of see the spec on it. It's got the carbon buckets. 
Got my six speed manual. Before we continue on with today's video, we get to thank the sponsor, which is Gentle Bands. If you guys aren't familiar with Gentle Bands, they make really cool rings for men that are made out of unconventional materials. They've got materials like tungsten, glowstone, dinosaur fossils, meteorite, wood, titanium, and more. And they were nice enough to send out one of their most popular rings that they've ever sold, the crown. If you look close at the material, you'll see this thing is made out of meteorite and titanium. I love the silver look. And this thing looks absolutely awesome on the hand and goes really well with my tag for your watch. They now come available with the chain option as well. They have a few different types of chains where you can just hang it down here and it looks real stylish. It's very comfortable as well. So if you guys are interested in getting a ring or a chain for one of your loved ones, click the link in the description or go to gentlebands.com and use the code BEAMER for 25% off. And with that being said, let's continue on with today's POV drive. Here next to the Arturo is a white piece though. Beautiful. I mean, the white really just shows the lines of the cars. You see how the spoiler comes out. You see these intakes that go down through the rear spoiler as well. That diffuser is very intricate. It's got, even got a brake light down there as well. And this view right here is pretty wild. SF90 in red, it's got the full carbon fiber front lift. Look at how aggressive this car is from this angle. You see the wheels, you see those big intakes. I think this car is actually a hybrid, pushing around 1,000 horsepower from the factory. Nothing done to it. Not to mention if you modify these cars, this is a bona fide hyper car as far as performance. It's just a beautiful looking car as well. It's nice to see it next to an M5 as well. You can see how many people turned out to this event. This is gonna be a nice drive, so I'm excited. Also got a nice big boy X7 uh, M60i. In frozen black parked over here in the corner. You can see it next to a Jeep. This thing just looks so sleek. Yes. So, uh, we'll get to know each other a little more up on the, at the go out now in, in two minutes. Uh, let's just drive up Grand. It looks like everybody's getting back in the cars. We're gonna hop inside the GA2 and get back on the road. We are on the road. We have a nice Aventador S in front of us. <laughs> Making nice V12 sounds. Listen to the crackle sound. the city views up here as well nice old school 2002 ti convertible <laughs> that is sick yeah, i need an exhaust on this car so bad <laughs> you really notice when you're in a group of cars like that. <laughs> that is insane oh man we are getting our mod soon, guys. Exhaust is gonna be the first mod. Nice M cars right here. Yas Marina, Marino Blue, Austin Yellow. Just listen, listen. Amazing. 
I will say this is really my first time pacing the car properly on the highway with a group of cars like this. And having this manual transmission with these bucket seats, man, it really makes me, I feel like more of a capable driver. I'm a lot more comfortable in this car. Uh, nothing against the F80, it's just this thing makes you just feel more secure. The brakes are better, seats are better, suspension's better, but it is lovely to look at an F82, man. The F82 is just such a timeless design. One of the best looking BMWs ever produced, in my opinion. Vendador F90 M5 sick sick group of cars today you guys have to let me know which one is your favorite we still got to find Kevin Nick I think fresh kicks is on this drive as well I really want to check out his G82 uh, Kevin was telling me he just recently got it I know some of you guys have commented about that as well <laughs> It's getting a lot colder as well the higher we go. <laughs> Listen to that. Wow. And that's one thing about these buckets too. They just keep you planted in these corners. Unbelievable. One thing that's different about the power delivery of the G82 is it's more linear. It feels more naturally aspirated. Uh, the F82 is a little more dicey. The turbos would kick in in kind of unpredictable moments. This is this car is very predictable compared to the F80 generation. I can see that being very useful, obviously on Canyon Drive, sure, but uh, especially when you're on the track, it's vital to have a car that's mostly predictable so you can keep it in a straight line just for safety reasons just tell me this thing look how it handles guys it's insane obviously the brakes are top tier this engine you can tell it sounds so good it's gonna be amazing when we open it up wow the tires are getting warmed up just this right here, just looking at this angle right here, right? You get all the carbon fiber on the steering wheel, the red buttons, the six speed manual. Um, your start engine stops down here. Feel like you're in a supercar kind of, you know, with that design like Lamborghini. And then you have the carbon buckets in this car as well. It's amazing. You got all your gauges right here, the new cluster.
got the G82 parked up, looking good with the rest of the cars. We're behind another uh, frozen yellow G82 that we saw up at the meet. It's even got the LED diffuser, which I really like. We've got G80 M3. This color on this 911 Turbo S is absolutely stunning. See the Aventador we rolled in with, but next to that is a nice 812 Spider. My favorite part about these cars are the backs. They even got the stripe on it, painted pinstripe in yellow. We have a wild spec on this Huracan. Crazy wrap, uh, wing on it. What do you guys think about that? These are really cool as well. A Lotus uh, driver car for sure. Manuals, bucket seats, splitters, got all the aero. Even has a roof scoop on there as well. Very cool. And we see the mods on this G80. It's absolutely stunning. It's got like the GT3 type uh, front grille. There's uh, a few different front grills. We have like Vorsteiner with this one. Uh, the GT3 where it's kind of rounded in the middle. And then there's a the CSL grill as well. And then you have the factory. But this kind of kind of shows you three different variations of the G80. Mine's bone stock. We have a couple modified ones right here. It's the SF90. We were kind of just like in the middle of nowhere, which is awesome. And then you get to enjoy the sceneries, uh, the smells of nature, and then the smell of gas. Nice cars, performance oriented cars as well. F80 is beautiful. Got a couple Rivians here. I think they were shooting uh, some footage out of these trucks, which is kind of cool to see them keep up with the exotics and performance cars. But this is a ranch. If you guys don't know about this place, this is uh, Newcomb's Ranch. And it's a ranch literally in the middle of nowhere in the, in the mountains. And it used to be open for you get like a diner type food type vibe. Uh, you can get breakfast and stuff like that, but it's closed right now. But I think they have some food set up here for us to eat as well. You see all the cars, There's some more exotics here. It lines up all the way, We're kind of stacked behind each other. There's a lot of cars here. I would say at least 50 uh, cars in here. So this is awesome. Black Aventador. There goes that white Pista again. Didn't get a chance to see the interior. Dark green accents on the interior. You don't often see that. It's even got green stitching on the steering wheel. That is beautiful spec with the white and black exterior. Oh, actually the stripes I think are green as well. It's hard to tell. Beautiful spec on this car. And you got the couple exotics over here. You got Nick's F80. If you look at the VIN, you can see it says hybrid vehicle. Apparently this thing is modified. It's got an exhaust on it and it shoots flames. So it's crazy. You can go in full electric mode on these cars and then with a click of a button you can be shooting flames. It's absolutely insane. Like we mentioned, this thing's a uh, thousand horsepower from the factory, but God knows how much it has with the modifications done to it. And also the wheels on this thing, absolutely massive. Huge brakes as well. Got some more M's pulling in. Nice G82. See the wild photographers getting that shot. Yes, sir. You already know. <laughs> I like that. Just listen to the Aventador. And a nice E92. I like that. Here, up close, we can see the Ultima in this frozen gray color. It's like a chalk color. Beautiful V12. See all the carbon. Whole roof's carbon, whole door panel carbon fiber as well. But that cockpit, absolutely stunning. This is like the last edition of the Aventador V10 M6. It's a throwback to our old one. We had a white one. Uh, we had a fully straight piped exhaust on this one. But this one is a manual. Wow. Or is it? No. Uh, it just has like a manual type shift knob. SMG. Nevertheless, still cool to see these cars. Brings up a lot of memories. But here we can see a nice uh, G82. Some proper mods on it. It's got diffuser. Oh, it's got some nice wheels, meaty tires on it as well. Seems to be dropped. So we're gonna be doing these air ducts. We're trying to figure out which grill to go with. And obviously we're gonna be doing a splitter as well. I really like the style of this splitter. Very aggressive. This one has the black carbon fiber bucket seats as well. few more weeks to wait at Mercia Lago.
we pulled off on the side of the road real quick. You can see we're in the clouds, pretty much in heaven right now. It's kind of cool. Beautiful G82 with the right mods on it. See my car right here. You kind of see the mountains in the background right there. You got Nixon F80 right there. So we're just gonna keep climbing down the mountain. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check us out on Instagram at Beamer Fam. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.